Seriously, Nicky has a sixth sense. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great, but sorry, there's a light inside of us. It shows the way. Um, we are close to, or hopefully we're close to, the Citadella, which is the monument that overlooks the Danube River. It's on the Buddha side. And this is also known as the Liberty Monument. From Moritz Sigmund Quater, we took the number 27 bus. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, we're now working our way up towards the Liberty Monument. You can just see it in the background there. Impressive when you look at it from the bottom of the hill, but anyway, so you can see there's a whole lot of little shops here as well, and particularly an ice cream shop. I mean, it's not normal ice cream, it's Citadella ice cream, but the view here is just amazing. You can see the Danube there, and on the left here, you've got uh, Buddha, and on the right is Pest. I was just going to sneak away while she was busy taking pictures to get a, uh, an ice cream, and as soon as I get to the ice cream shop, bang, turns around and eyeballs me. She knew. No, no, heaven will go, cause I got you. I got you, don't wanna show. Oh, oh, show us off, but show my heart. All that I need, I'm trying to sugar cold, but I'm flying so high. I don't even know if I'm coming down. You wrap my bow when you hold me so tight. The world just I'm telling you why This ain't no madness The smoke and the mirrors are memories Now the sun's gone down Like a river rushing way up above This ain't Yeah, this ain't no sugar-coated love I wonder who they modeled that lady on That could be it there there we go, there's the model. And I put her in the cat in the picture just then. And just as I'm taking the film, she turns around, and she just notices, she feels it. Oh yeah, you can see the similarities. Oh, oh she caught me. <laughs> Nothing. I think she's got secret powers. We're here at the top of the Citadella and I actually think that the views here are the best that we've seen of Budapest. Number two would be the, the views from Fisherman's Bastion. Um, this is free, that, that one isn't and it's easier to get here. Uh, and there are also, also actually fewer people. So this is the actual citadella or fortress. Um, I learned that the Habsburgs created this whole fortress because of its strategic position. It overlooks the Danube River and um, it, it's obviously on a hill. And so they built it right after they quenched um, a rebellion, a civil war of sorts. And it was supposed to be a reminder to the Hungarians that um, they're the ones who are in charge. And that's why the places where they used to have their cannons pointed directly at, the, at Budapest. So we're a little bit lost going down. There's several paths. It's, it's a bit like a maze. And the signs are not very helpful. It's like there's an arrow here. Goes that way. Then there's an arrow going the opposite direction. It's like um, words would be nice. Good luck with that. Yeah.
I've taken you to Sir Lancelot. It's a restaurant based on medieval theme. There's a recommendation from uh, Diana and um, Lorenzo, some friends that we met when we were in... From um, the frontier, in the Warsaw. Correct. Frontier. Yes, exactly. So I'm actually getting what's called the Lady Melanie Feast. I'm going to have the King Arthur Feast. And, I'm getting torture. And get a load of this. Oh my god, it's so huge. I didn't even notice. <laughs> That, is that mead? <laughs> <laughs> it's not water. I still got the feeling that you're next to me. Stuck in my head. When lights go off, you're everything that I could ever want. Your touch so soft. Not looking for no, no, no. Heaven or gold, cause I got you. I got you. I got you. Don't wanna stop. I know, so mine, mine is like a chicken vegetable soup. Smells good. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Can you try your pimento? Sure, so I've got with it a bit of... Can you tip it in? I'm not sure. What is it? Yeah. You need to put that on or you need to drink it? This is like really salty bread. I guess I'm supposed to have this first and then this? I see why they have this. You have to have something after it to drown out the fire. So mine's supposed to be cold soup and it's got fruits in it and even has whipped cream. So I'm kind of confused. I've never had cold soup before. What well, am I blowing on? It? Apparently I like cold fruit soup. The spicy beef strips. Oh yeah, okay. And potatoes? Uh -huh. Potatoes are excellent. That is really spicy. I like it. So this is um, some sort of fish with almond flakes on it. Mm. What is that? Looks like some sort of chocolate. Oh my. Like fudge or something. <laughs> it smells really good. It's an apple, it's an apple pie basically. Mm. It's pretty good. <laughs> so we just finished our meal. It was a lot. And it came to 18,678 foreign, or about 60 euros. I think that's really reasonable. Yeah. I mean, I had the liter of beer, and there was not one wheat meal in that whole lot. Yeah. I enjoyed every single part of each of those courses. The ambiance is really cool. Grazie, Diana and Lorenzo, for the recommendation. Don't forget to subscribe to join us in our travels. Also, check out our Lucky Dippers podcast.